Imagine like 30 recording. All right, stop recording for a second. All right, but what I was saying was right now we're at the inception of this sport. But like in 20, yeah. 30 years from now, you're still going to you're going to be like, you know, Grandpa Greg, like <laughs> Grandpa Chin, chilling and they're going to be like interviewing us like about this time and what was the trick riding scene like and it's going to be all like in the past. And you know, yeah. Yeah. I yeah. where you know, we are like right now, it's like a small scene. Like there's 300,000, right. three worldwide, 300,000 of the boards are sold. So like, right. Um, kind of part of like what I'm doing with this uh, show and like doing musician friends and stuff is like yeah. sp- spreading that like uh, the like the musicians pages that don't necessarily know about like One Wheel, like their fans like don't know what it is or they've seen it or they don't care. Um, and then. Right, right, right they see you know my videos and then that brings them in a little bit that's what i was thinking yeah and then like yeah. other stuff like talking about like i'm curious uh yeah just talking to like anybody i don't think i'm gonna like just talk to one wheel people but i like i'm no that's what i that's what i'm doing right now <laughs> to you know just because yeah. i'm starting out or whatever and it's just of course, of course. it's also like a lot of this is just um I'm just, like, I'm doing this, and, like, I wanted to talk to you today. Or I've been wanting to talk to you right. for, like, a week. And, right. like, I yes. want to talk to, like, Kyle Hansen. Like, I, he's, like, my biggest uh, one-wheel crush, right? And he's in my uh, DMs. Uh, he's in my DMs same. saying he wants to do it. And, like, yeah, so, like, manifesting yeah. that. And, um, yeah, I'm going to try and talk to everyone that that wants to talk to me. <laughs> That's awesome. Of course, and, and this is... I mean, you've really done a good job with it, too, so... Thank, dude, I'm super yeah, stoked I, for you to see this, and thank you for... Part- uh, I want to uh, shout you out for being um, easy to work with, if anybody wants to work with him. Um, <laughs> because, like, a lot of people, I'll say, like, hey... Or, like, I'll be like, hey, you know, I want to talk to you, and this is when I have time to do my show, and my son naps. And you were like, okay, like, let's do this day, or how about this day? And then this didn't work, but, like, let's do this time. And a lot of people right. aren't good at... Uh, a lot of people aren't as good as you at that, so I want to commend you huh? on making plans and following through. It's <laughs> Thank awesome. You, Thank I, you. I see you. I, I appreciate, appreciate it. Well, and then I, I, I appreciate you, man. Thank you for sharing and spreading and, and doing the things that you do because it's not just this podcast. And I, I saw something recently. I, I want to share it with you, and you don't have to keep it in or. No, please. I saw something recently that. It was just a show, and I won't go into the details, but someone was trying to accomplish their goals that was going to be helping a whole lot of other people. And they got so caught up in not, in the things they thought they were not doing right and were not able to accomplish, that they didn't even realize they had not only accomplished their goals, but they had surpassed those who were their examples in helping other people. Mm-hmm. And I'm going to share that with you because your podcast is fucking <laughs> awesome and it's hitting a lot of people. But, bro, you, you are accomplishing your goals of spreading the love and right. sharing it with your in and out clovers at no, that's, Flow Life Fest. It yeah. stands out. So no, I mean, I'm that was. Grateful for the clovers were like that's like my fun little like icebreaker for like meeting people like hey good luck with your race here's here's a clover one of the things I and i'm not going to cut that that was a sweet thing I, why would i cut that yes no <laughs> no i'm 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 grateful for you and i'm i'm going to share with you from the gray in my hair for a second. <laughs> the thing that I've seen with this community and you know I'm old enough that I've been involved in some things throughout my life and communities and different flavors and things like that and this community is freaking amazing and you you say that about being famous and I chuckle because first of all I don't never in my wildest dreams would have imagined someone else would think that about me, but I don't think, even think that about myself. I'm just I'm just a dude who found a place to have fun. You're humble. And and people people who love 
you and encourage you. That was what it is. Just they they love they loved me at that first float life fest and encouraged me to be the best that I could be. I didn't have to be like anybody else. You know right. what I'm saying? It wasn't this you oh, you've got to be like this guy or this guy or that guy and that was a beautiful, beautiful thing. And now what I've realized is the only this stuff is is I'm a, I ha, I'm a conduit. It's not meant for me. It's meant to be given out to other people and the rest of the community and everybody else. That's where my life is meant to be spent. Good. Um, that's another philosophical conversation. Because, no, I was gonna say if you know, you know that about your you know that about yourself, like that's that's all. You know your purpose, and you should do it. Yeah. And you're you're doing it. I mean that life as you get older becomes about investing in things that will be around longer than you will because you realize that you're not going to be around forever right and you spend all this time investing it in yourself and then you know if you don't realize this it's gone and and having realized that i'm so much happier and i'm such a, a better person when i spend myself on other people and lifting everybody else up, man, and just right. getting everybody. We all rise together. Oh, sorry, I just walked up the stairs. No, well, you definitely do that, man. And uh, thinking about that yeah, same legacy, and and you know the future of the sport. What are what are we gonna do about this remake of the Animal Chin? First of all, let's, so this this video <laughs> is I was watching it as like a research research for you for this for talking right. to you yeah, 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 yeah. and it's a fucking amazing video and it would be so easily like spoofed or like redone like scene for scene just changing like a couple words with like uh-huh. you know you're like i like the idea of you being chin <laughs> or but you said you you think you i mean are you gonna direct this like are we how do we make I, this happen who do we pitch this to i I have no idea. I so I will. I'll share this with you. I had a production company in Georgia. My wife and I. Um, she's a scientist, and I did uh, marketing stuff after I was a mechanic. I was a mechanic for a long time. Um, and so she got asked to come up here on a project that we both had worked on. I'd made a video that the government saw, and she had done some science and. They were like, okay, we want you guys up here on this project. And we moved up here and we closed down the marketing company. And I now do all of that internally for Mm -hmm. the FDA. That's your job. There was an outbreak of something. And I made a a response video for the scientists on how to test for whatever it was. I don't remember. But that's the kind of stuff. It's crazy. I, I was in the right place at the right time. I think I'm fortunate. I really am grateful uh, to, you know, God or whatever you might want to call him, the universe, however you phrase it. I am fortunate to be able to be doing what I'm doing. So I said all that to say doing video outside of work has become something I just don't do. Oh, but you want to right. do or don't or not interested? Uh, I I wasn't saying that you had to do like as pitching this idea to you no, was just no, like no, no. And I, I do, want I it know, to it's I a know. fun mission. Like it's of course, a of course. if if you totally don't have to direct it even though you have the skills. Um, I, we could pitch this well, to directing uh, <laughs> directing I don't mind it's the editing. Editing for me mm-hmm. is <clears throat> Because I'm such a perfectionist. When I go into edit, Ooh. it takes me. You're not gonna like this hours. video. <laughs> You're not gonna like watching this video. <laughs> it's Whoa, editing, no, see, editing perfection, saying, but. Have, no, 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 no. I love the stuff that, that gets to be done that way. I'm not allowed to, and if I tried to edit a project, I would totally. It would fry my brain. Right. Trying to get everything. Oh. Perfect. Dude, no, it's, I hear you, dude. I've been fucking banging my head. Like, I had no experience doing any of this at all. And I've had multiple days where I'm spending banging my head against while trying to get this video that I've spent a million years editing to just to upload to my camera. And then there's some stupid issue, like, on YouTube or my phone. Like, uh, yeah, 
yeah. but that kind of yeah. troubleshooting is something that right. I get like like I'm I'm like still high off solving these uh, problem like figuring out how right. to do all of this right. and um, right. but it is now, definitely I'll, I'll, frustrating well it's just it's tedious with me it's very tedious because my brain sees things in pictures and so I, I used to do 30 second commercials for TV where everything has to be perfect if that makes sense I do love directing. I can come up with ideas that, that are crazy and are like, yeah, let's go. And, and to sit down and write out, to like sit that. down and, and flesh out what it would look like to redo Animal Chin if we talked to a few other people and they were mm-hmm. like, hell yeah. Dude, they're all seeing this. I'm, we're gonna, I'm going to tag the whole cast in this. Where It's going to be <laughs> me and you. Oh, you know what? One Wheel is funding the project. Um, I'll okay. go ahead and t- okay. they'll do it. And we've got, I think, like, uh, Bodhi is Tony Hawk in this situation. Okay. And then okay. there's, I feel like the other dude, I'm trying to like think of, like, who looks like who. But we don't need to necessarily oh, go who? by that. No, no, bro. I've got a list of names of people. Don't you worry. Okay. I, I, there are people, bro, that are tricking with me right now that <laughs> we've got a, there's, a, there's this really neat group of trickers that, that, you know, over the last year or so, have really formed a cohesive, tight kind of family. And you're talking about the NWO. We love each other. Oh, I know about the <laughs> NWO. Is that what you're talking about? No. <laughs> no. Oh, what are you no, talking? Oh, what's your group? So. Oh, you're not in that group. I'm, it's not a group. It's not a group. It's a collective. Collective, it's a right, right, right. Process. Right. Oh, okay. It's right, a, right, right. It's a hey. I'm going to talk to you about something. What do you think of this? And oh, dang. Right, right. Oh. Um, no, cricket. Cricket, um, cricket is in the is in the NWO for sure. Jeremy Vanderberg. Yep. Tyler Skirt. Love it. Sam Varner. That's who I knew you were gonna say. That's who I thought you were gonna say first, because he, you guys yeah. are up there. You guys are chilling. Yeah. He well, he and I have been hanging out again. He, he right. you know, he was, his arm was messed up for a while, and he had to take some time off to mm-hmm. let it heal. Um, but he's. He's been coming over. We've actually been trying to have trick days at my house every Friday. Awesome. And your garage. There's a fellow named Sear Jay. He's a, Sear Jay, he's a doctor. Mm-hmm. He does a lot of filming for us, man. And, and you know, then you're going to have the parts and the people. If you're going to remake this movie, you're going to have to have the people and the places and the parts. And there's going to be a lot of people. That, if it was a real thing and could really uh-huh. happen, yeah, it would be beautiful. But I, I'm going to tell you this. The ramp that I'm building this year at Oak City Shred Fest. Mm-hmm is 100 percent inspired from that movie love it so just wait till you just wait to see what happens because it's going to be so much fun i can't wait i can't wait i was uh i think my character is gonna have to be this guy that i already am he's like selling the the maps to skaters homes he's like i know where all the curbs are all the ditches all the curbs all the ditches i'll show you the best the best spots that's like what I'm yeah, trying to do with yeah. this show, like trying to get people to come to Chapel Hill and shred with me. It's part of so, it. <laughs> here, here's trivia for you. That skater that was selling maps, his name is not as Coppice. Okay. I think that was right. I could be fucking wrong on that. <laughs> but yeah, and and I don't. You were at Oak City when I had the feet. Yeah. Giving the t- clinics, right? Loved it. Do you remember me talking about Nancy Chin? Yeah. The, the pumpkin head thing that I had up well, on the no, ramp let's, and I um, called it Nancy. No, please, please, uh, it's okay if you told me before. Let's talk about it for everybody that, you know, unless that's like your special sauce in your trick clinic <laughs> that you don't want to give away unless, like, you have to sign up for the trick clinic. <laughs> no, 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 not at all. Not at all. No, there, if you, if you dig through the archives, you'll go back on the, the Instagram and you'll see some videos of a pumpkin headed little stand. With a, hel- with a skateboard helmet on, falling over, and this became kind of a mascot in a lot of my videos during that time in the, in the process of riding and learning, and I, that's when I first built the ramp, and so mm. I actually named Pumpkinhead Nancy Chin the Manicurist, and I brought Nancy Chin with me to Oak City, and she sat on top of the ramp out there in the middle of the field mm. with her feet that I used to teach the clinics when we got to it so yeah 
And uh, uh, another side note, the first Oak City Shred Fest that I, no, the first Float Life Fest that I went to after having ridden for a month, uh, I started talking about the search for Animal Chin. I, I started, I watched the movie again, and on the drive down, me and, and I, oh, I think his name was Chris. Chris or Kevin, I don't, oh, uh, he's not so much in the one with the scene anymore, he does a lot more filming and stuff. It's, he's not he watching this, it's fine. You can call him whatever you want. But, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> but we watched and listened to the Search for Animal Chin on the drive to Arkansas, 17-hour drive. It was all Animal Chin, we get there, I had, I bought Animal Chin stickers, I was putting the, the Search for Animal Chin stickers everywhere, um, yeah, it. it was a rowdy time. It was a rowdy time. Are there so other? Is that there, is always. Is there other documentary or anything out there about that film, like already made? Um, Do you know? an other documentary or, or I don't know. Is there anything else? I feel remake. like. Or yeah, I mean, is there a documentary? I would. No, well, there's. I would like to watch the more. Bones it's so Brigade cool. Documentary. That That's whole right. group, the Bones Brigade. Right. Yeah. Yeah. The yeah. Bones Brigade documentary. I love that. So, so if you search for Bones Brigade. I think it's called the Bones Brigade documentary, honestly. So your um, collective, it, your collective though, is the equivalent of that Bones Brigade, and I think that's fucking sick. And this, that's like what we're doing for, yeah, for uh, like I, the I, next I, gen. Hundred percent, bro. I, and this is where I feel like you and I, we you talked about it. One wheel is growing. It's at three hundred thousand right now. We're at the point where we are just large enough that we're beginning to see these different types of riding your one wheel grow, be born, and gain their relevancy within our growing sport. Mm -hmm. And that's what, you know, you're a part of it and what you're doing. I'm a part of it. Cricket's a part of it. Jeff Adair is a part of it. We're all a part of this thing, man, and we all want to just see it blossom and bloom and be amazing. And, and you mentioned it when I was at Oak City, just stepping back and watching how much fun the people were having mm -hmm. on this ramp that I just, I thought about it in my head and said, oh, I bet we could try this. And to see someone else grab hold of your passion and inspiration that is that's that's a beautiful fun you're definitely thing, man. and that's you, the thing you want you're definitely you're tapping into some of to some of like yeah that real shit where you're building yeah. <laughs> building something you put something together with your hands that you had in your mind you shared it with the world and there was blood and tears and awesome shreddy shit that happened all over it <laughs> And that's all. Awesome. And so, and you can just bring that. Yeah, How hard was cool. that to set up? Did that take you like what, like ten? You and a couple people, like ten, fifteen hours or something? To build the one at Oak City. Yeah. Um, the one at Oak City, it it was basically just me and Dave, and then I had um, Joe Reyna help me go get materials and stuff. And there were there were, you know, that was. That was the birth of the idea. I had built it at my house and I had learned, you know, kind of the nuances of how it could be used and, and ridden on. And and then at Oak City, it was kind of the test. You know, you build your engine, you need your race car, and then you get to go test it with the real big boys. Mm -hmm. And... The, Fucking work. Going, the, one, the, the one I built at the house, I, when I realized I could go get wooden pallets for free, I was like, wait, I, if I can get enough wooden pallets, I could build a ramp. And if I build a ramp, then what it did for me... If you build it, they actually, will come. Well, there's that, <laughs> but it did something for my riding. This is what I realized. that, And it, it isn't a right or wrong equation at all. It is a progression. One wheeling up until, like, for me, all the trick riding I had seen was about going from point A to point B, if that makes sense. Right. Okay? You start off over here, you go do a trick on this thing, and you end up over there. Okay? The thing that we did in skateboarding is we started off at A, you did your trick at B, and whatever you did brought you back to A. Mm -hmm. We weren't looking to go past the feature. We were looking to use it again immediately. 
Right. So if you put one feature on one side and one feature on the other side, <laughs> you now have a half pipe. <laughs> you have Pandora's box, <laughs> right? A never-ending box. That's the idea. You know, exactly. I didn't get. I never got it until just now. <laughs> exactly. But here, I'm going to add this. I I played around at the Baltimore indoor indoor skate park on the quarter pipes and stuff there, and I did a few slippies on those, and it was it was fun. It was a couple of winters back, I think. Uh, maybe the first winter I had the one wheel after Float Life Fest. I went tricking it, but then I had to have surgery shortly thereafter. I don't remember the whole thing. Anyway. I realized that as one-wheel riders, we don't necessarily have to have a curved ramp. The curve in a ramp was initially created for engineless vehicles, whether it was a bicycle or a skateboard, because they had to learn how to pump in the transition to maintain their momentum. Right. So it had to be a curve. We have a motor on the one wheel. <laughs> it doesn't have to be a curve. Right. It is way better. It, in my mind, this is my opinion, and I'm not here to tell anybody what's better, worse, right or wrong. It is better suited for me to be able to express myself and the trickery with a slant ramp rather than a curved one because I was able to put curves up the side of it gave me the triple slippy, the smadonna, and all of those kinds of things. Right. And you know, so as you're saying that, right now, I am shredding some transition, some some drainage ditch transition, which uh -huh. is my, my other favorite thing to do. Like, skateboarders, like, unless you're in, you know, some place like that, uh, in Hawaii, whatever, that first scene of Animal Shin, <laughs> where they're ripping that so huge that was, drainage that was thing. Wallows. Wallows, yeah, wallows, and there's a couple yeah. famous skate spots like that. My thing yeah. is, I want to scour America for the world's best and longest and sickest drainage ditches, and find uh -huh. like that's like one of my favorite things to to ride. I mean, I hear what you're saying about yeah. the not transition, but I also love transition. <laughs> and that like yeah, no, and I, I <laughs> it, it's a different learning curve, uh, fun intended curve, uh, um, but. <laughs> It just, it, it, for me, it didn't necessarily allow me to, to express myself how I saw things in my head. Right, we're all different. Yeah. Um, hey, I'm getting another call from a friend. Oh, um, dude, yeah, we've been talking for like 45 why? minutes. It's all good. Okay, okay. Yeah, man. Hang on, let me, um, I'm going to put you on hold just to make sure there's not a problem that I need. Do it, do it. You're such, you're a good friend. Okay. Do whatever you got. If you don't pick Thank back you, up, bro. it's no Thank worries. You. Okay, I'll be right back. All right. Wow, love it. Yeah, we've been. This will be two episodes, <clears throat> so it doesn't break my phone. Yeah, what a nice guy. Thank you, Greg. I'm glad it's just Greg, and everybody out there that's pronouncing his name Screg or S Greg. Well, I bet he he doesn't care. <laughs> but that's funny. <clears throat> and what a nice conversation. And I guess I'm just gonna keep talking until he comes back but it has been a long time <clears throat> trying to think of like maybe I should just like have this be the end of the show but I did want to talk to him about some more stuff and I don't want to be rude <clears throat> I don't want you guys to think I'm rude yeah we've definitely this is definitely like over an hour Maybe what I'll do is if he calls me back, I feel like he would have gotten back on if it wasn't a big deal. <laughs> I think this is the end. I don't know how long I've been on hold, but I feel like he's probably got to do some shit. Hey, Max. Oh, here. Hey, dude. <laughs> Sorry, bro. No, dude, you are that fine. Was, uh... You are all good. That was Sir J and Sam. They're good. They asked me if I want to go tricking somewhere. So awesome. Yes, you I gotta, do. I got to go make sure I got enough done that I can go play. <laughs> <laughs> All your chores. Dude, I am the same same thing, dude. I, yeah, I was going to say, I got to get back and I got to do my chores. 
Yeah. Wake up. <laughs> exactly. exactly. But dude, All real right, quick, bro. let me just say thank you so much for just like everything, of course, of course. everything you do for talking to me. Let's do this again, where we um where we rip yeah. and have a conversation, and let's also yeah. flesh yeah, yeah, out yeah. let's flesh out this um remake. Or who okay. who do we need to pitch I'm, it to? We pitch it to HBO. Maybe we pitch it. I, I don't know. <laughs> it could be a really good production. Know, so it we'll see. It would be fun though. It would be fun. Yeah. All right, bro. Awesome, All right, dude. Love much you, love. Thank, thank you so, so much. much. Uh, send I me appreciate whatever. The opportunity. Dude, I appreciate the opportunity. Dude, this is something. This is gonna be like something we do a lot, maybe, because you're easy yeah, to talk to yeah. and you got a lot to say. And I didn't get to even ask you half the stuff I wanted to ask you. Right, right. So, um, thank Sorry. you, dude. My bad, my bad. No, 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 no not your yeah. bad. Not your bad. Um, you're good, dude. You're all good. And thank you all again, right, and have a really good rest of your day. And I'll do the same. You as well. All you right. As well. You as well. All right, all right much love, bye. bro. Love you, bye. All right. That was nice. Wasn't that a nice thing I did? Didn't you like listening to Greg? Are you still, or are you like, oh man, I can't believe I just listened to all that. I was waiting for, I was waiting for Kyle Hansen to come on. I thought it was, this this is the Kyle Hansen episode, but it's not. This is just, who's Greg? I wasn't listening. I added a, (laughs) super stoked on that. I think that went really well. And yeah, my hand, my fingers are like numb. My fingers went asleep from holding my phone. That's an interesting new sensation. And yeah. Greg, I will plug whatever you tell me to plug in the, des- the description. I think he's a pro rider for a couple different one-wheel teams. And, yeah, I'm feeling really good. That was really fun. I'm in a great mood now. I'm going to ride without the camera for a little bit. That's what I'm going to do. All right. I love you guys. Oh, let me try and do the Bodhi thing again. Bodhi's outro. All right, wheelers, peace, love, and chicken grease. (laughs) Okay, I just got home, and guess who messaged me? None other than, who guess who wants to interview me? Motherfucking one wheel is in my DM saying they want to talk to me tomorrow. Would you be down to be on camera for a FaceTime call with Jack? We want to showcase someone that did the trade-in program and that can talk about how easy it was. It's worth it. Today or tomorrow? Bro, what is happening today? Kyle Hansen in my DMs wanting to do this? Saying it's destiny? One wheel? This is what I'm going to do. I want to do the old double reverso on them. They want to do the FaceTime call with me for their thing, and I want it to be my thing. So I'm going to say this. I'm going to send them a video message. Bro, yes, absolutely. I want to do that. Whatever you want to do, um, I will do it anytime. I'll get a babysitter or whatever you got to do. I would love to get on a FaceTime call. I'll put my number below. We can talk about whatever you want to talk about. Um, I'm imagining this is going to be a short interview. You want to do a short clip and you're really busy. But if you don't mind, I would love to have it be on my thing. My little shred diary. If Jack has time or Joey, if you have time or if anybody like at the mail room of the one wheel headquarters wants to talk to me for my shred diary, It's uh, something I'm doing now, and um, I would love to do it with you guys. Uh, Maybe just like a 15, 20 minute conversation. Uh, It's like over the phone, and then I have a Bluetooth speaker that you get the audio. If we want to be really cool about it, we could go for a ride at the same time. You film that, you send it to me, and then I edit it together like some beautiful... That's another master plan for the show. But yeah, I will do anything you want. It got cut off. Did that sound good? Um, I'm gonna watch that again. I will do it anytime. I'll get a babysitter. Okay, I'm gonna send it. Whatever you gotta do. It's really good. I'm sending it. Okay, and another one. I'm just gonna do a voice message for this one. 
I got cut off, but yes, I'll do whatever you want. If you don't want to do my shred diary thing tomorrow, that's fine too. Um, I would love to do it with you, obviously. Um, but I know you guys are really busy and it's no pressure. I'll be available for, yeah, five minutes, whatever you need to talk about. I had a really easy time, um, trading them in and it was, it's totally worth it. And I, yes, yes. The answer is yes. So thank you, bro. And hope you have a really good day. Okay. And now my wife is texting me. Can you be done soon? And the answer is yes. I'm just super stoked on that because what the fuck, what's the fuck is going on? Hell yeah. So stay tuned because this is going to be cool. All right.